The court is now in session. Today, we are hearing case number 891,553, Everyone vs. Dr. John Freed. Everyone includes the federal government, the state of West Virginia, the Catholic Diocese of West Virginia, St. Polycarp Hospital, the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Hospitals, and the Sinaloa Drug Cartel, not to mention several esteemed wheeling doctors, including myself, Dr. Freed. You are accused of willfully and repeatedly embarrassing the plaintiffs on Plotagon. What say you, guilty or not guilty? I say that you are an effing nephrologist not a judge. What are you doing up there? I must be dreaming. The first witness is our beloved President Obama. This man crop dusted on my TV show, then accused me of going medieval, and even compared me to Vladimir Baylor. Thank you, President Obama. Really? Vlad the Impaler? Why, I should convict you now. How dare you compare this president to Vlad, or Dracula, as we know him from the popular literature. <laughs> Our next witness is the beloved Dr. Drake, representing both St. Polycarp Hospital and the Catholic Diocese. The bishop sends his regrets that he cannot attend as he is in a meeting at Wheeling Downs. Your Honor, this man has humiliated me and St. Polycarp over and over. His heinous efforts thus, in turn, humiliate the Catholic Church and God himself. Please name these heinous acts, Doctor. First, he repeatedly ridiculed St. Polycarp during the nationwide Ebola epidemic, particularly the center of excellence for Ebola and our wonderful Ebola Tower. Even worse. He insinuated that my shoulder dislocation was reduced by a rectal approach and that my concern for a brain tumor be addressed with a big mama colonoscope. <laughs> and lastly, he tricked me into reading a poem he wrote for Doctor's Day, a poem in which he implied that all doctors, except emergency physicians, were lacking compassion and were primarily concerned about getting paid, absolutely deplorable. Our next speaker for the plaintiffs is Dr. Boris Kutsmakokiev from the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Hospitals. Go ahead, Kutsmakokiev, I mean Dr. Kutsmakokiev. <laughs> Your Honor, this man made a distasteful video that implied a violent fight with Dr. Rection, a fellow urologist. I love Dr. Hugh G. Rection. Furthermore, this doctor characterized the Joint Commission as encouraging sex at work by employees. Also, he staunchly refused to close his cabinet over his desk, threatening to assault us with a Bible, all the while drinking coffee in the department. Doctor, is this your standard Joint Commission outfit? And, finally, the last witness of the day is El Chapo. Representing the Sinaloa cartel, El Chapo, welcome. Will you outline for the court the offenses suffered by the Sinaloa drug cartel at the hands of this doctor? Gracias, senior. He implied that our organization promotes violence and killings, as well as drug trafficking. You don't? Of course not. That is just conservative garbage to fan the flames of hatred for anything Mexican except tacos and tortillas. Mr. Obama invited me to come here, become a Democrat, start an excavation company and help Hillary find all her emails. Dr. Freed, you are sentenced to die by hospital food. The sentence will be carried out tonight at the dinner hour. Ha, ha. Obama and his minions tried that at the hospital. I only grew stronger. Blotagon rules. And you, Dr. Yours, will see my vengeance in endless 3 a.m. phone consults, 